Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome. A very warm welcome is to you all on this day as we mark the Feast of the Ascension. And for all saints parishioners, we continue to mark these days in our worship life from our isolation. And as our world begins to return to some normality, we continue to work through how best we can meet safely within the COVID guidelines and particularly in a way that is safe for our, the most vulnerable among us. But a very warm welcome to you if you're visiting us, if you're just dropping in online, just putting your toe in the water with your faith and church, you're most welcome. And I trust that this act of worship and through the various reflections that you find on our virtual church page, you will meet the risen Jesus. As we said earlier today, we mark the Feast of the Ascension, which is a slightly strange feast as we grapple with the physical reality of what happened. But more importantly, what that means for us today, as we struggle to walk the life of faith, even in our anxiety or whatever else it is that assails us, knowing that we're not alone, but God is with us. If you're following this Mass in your prayer book, we begin on page 119, or you have a sheet with the liturgy if you prefer. You also have the hymn words to join in worship. If you would like a copy of those, please contact our parish office and we can send them to you. The Lord be with you. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The sentence for the Feast of the Ascension Go and make disciples of all nations, Jesus commands. I am with you always to the close of the age. Let us join together in the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins. Strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, by raising Jesus from the dead, you proclaimed his victory, and by his ascension you declared him Lord of all. Lift up our hearts to heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Acts, chapter 1. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. While he said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And also with you. The 
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 28 beginning at verse 16. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Glory Jesus Christ. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. For the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thanks to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. on this gospel and the feast of the ascension you will t you can turn to the sermon podcast or the video homily on our virtual church page today let us now pray for the world and for the church praise to you almighty god may our prayers ascend to you just as jesus christ your son was taken to heaven as we celebrate the ascension of our lord jesus let it inspire in us feelings of joy and hope as we wait patiently for the promised gift of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, ascended and glorified in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise to you, ascended Jesus, for you rule the world with righteousness. Hear our prayers for the peoples of all nations. We pray for our troubled world, its peoples and their leaders. We pray for those caught up in war and violence and hatred, especially the innocent victims of these evils and those who are abused because of Christ. Help the people of your world make the best use of the science and technology in order to achieve a better life on this planet. Protect people of third world countries from being exploited and underpaid for their labours just so that we can enjoy cheap luxury goods at their expense. Jesus Christ ascended and glorified in your mercy. Hear your prayer. Praise to you, ascended Jesus for you make known to us the true and loving God. Hear our prayers for our church. We pray for all those who seek to follow your way in their lives. Let your church speak your word of truth with confidence and in unity, so that those who are searching and listening will be able to see and hear clearly your message of love and peace. We thank you for the leadership of Mother Linda, as, we, as she seeks ways for us to stay connected to one another when our regular gatherings have not been possible. Please strengthen us to care for one another in creative and genuine ways. We pray for our bishop as he makes big decisions that will affect so many of your people and their fellowship together. Please give him wisdom on how to best listen to governing authorities and to respect the directions that are given while still caring for one another, prioritising the need to encourage one another. Jesus Christ, ascended and glorified, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise to you, ascended Jesus, for you welcome the outcast and provide for the needy. Hear our prayers for all with whom we share our lives. Father God, we pray for all the people that we encountered in our daily lives, especially through the internet and social media in these difficult times. Help us to recognise Christ in one another, however stressed and tired they may be. We ask that you help us to recognise the risen Christ 
in the face of someone we meet today, and give us an opportunity to brighten their way with a smile or a word. Today, we especially pray for those involved in educating our children. As schools return to face-to-face -face teaching, please keep teachers and students safe, and help them care for one another. We ask for your blessing on those preparing for their final exams and assessments towards HSC. We now thank you for our families, friends, and for the people with whom we work or share our daily lives. Please bless Jenny Atkins, Lily, and Jeremiah as they celebrate their birthdays. We also pray for our family members and friends who are not Christians. Please work in us so that we can share your love, your life, and message with them, and reveal your love to them, that they might know, follow, and witness to you. Jesus Christ ascended. And glorified in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise to you, ascended Jesus, for you heal the sick. Look with compassion on those who are in need. Hear our prayers for all who suffer, for all those in need, for those who are filled with guilt, who are broken-hearted, who are confused, afraid, or saddened because of a relationship has broken down. Lord, reveal to them your comforting presence, and help them to be aware of the prayer and the love which surrounds them, and those who care for them. Help them to know that in your hands they are safe and loved. We pray for those who have asked for our prayers, and give joyful thanks for those on the road to recovery. Val Kennedy, Elizabeth, Arthur. Sister Gloria, Jim, and Rose. Jesus Christ ascended and glorified. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise to you, ascended Jesus, for you are, you call us to eternal glory. Hear our prayers for all who have died, and who are now with your ascended Son, Jesus Christ. We pray for those who have recently died, for their resurrection into your kingdom, for those whose anniversary falls at this time. Doreen Carpenter, Rita Thompson, Elizabeth Flynn, Jack Dilley, Jeffrey Forrester, Sandra Harding, Elizabeth Pry, Cyril Jones, Richard Elwood. Roger Wong, George Armstrong, and Robert Baker. Jesus Christ ascended and glorified. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that we have asked in faith. We may, by your grace, receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, even in our isolation, we are the body of Christ. His spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And God is also with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed you, be God forever. Lord. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. And we lift them, them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. You have highly exalted him and given him the name which is above all other names, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine. And we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, claiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit. Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this day to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy. 
mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sin, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. In this time when we can't share communion together or receive physically the bread and the wine, we receive it spiritually through an act of spiritual communion and I invite you to join me in the words on the screen. A prayer for spiritual communion. Almighty God, I believe that you are truly present in this holy sacrament. And since I cannot at this time receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul and my mind. Let nothing separate me from you. Let me serve you in this life until by your grace I come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. Amen. Son Jesus Christ into the world to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Strengthen us who share this meal to continue his mission by living the good news we proclaim. Most loving God, you send us into the world you love. Give us grace to go thankfully and courage in the power of your spirit. Friends, the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.